In this video, we'll do multiplying matrices. And here we have this example. Let A equal this matrix, B equal this matrix, and C equal this matrix. We have to find AB, which is A multiplied by B, BA, which is B multiplied by A, then AC, which is A multiplied by C, then BAC. B multiply by A multiply by C. This one, you can find it in two ways. Either to find it like this, B, then multiply by AC, or BA multiply by C. So you can find it in each way. This AC, I mean I put bracket because it will be only one matrix. So if we multiply A by C, then we will get only one matrix, not two matrices. The same thing here. And you will notice AC is here from the third question, BA from second question. You will use them to find BAC. Before to solve this exercise, let's know how we can multiply two matrices. Let's say let A matrix which has the size M multiply by B. What this mean? This mean is the size. For example here, this matrix which is A has one row and three columns. So one row and three columns. So here we are writing the rows and here we are writing the number of columns. So it has only one row, three columns. But here we have three rows, one, two, three, and only one column. Here this matrix has three rows and two columns. Three rows and two columns. Sometimes they called it size order or dimension all of them they are the same so the number of rows and columns that a matrix has is called its order its size or its dimension you can notice here we have only one row this called a vector or if it has only one column it also called a vector so in fact, a vector is also a matrix because a matrix can have just one row or one column. But in this video, we always we will call this one as a matrix, not a vector. So here, this matrix has size 1 by 3. So we understand what this means. So this matrix has M by P. And this one, it's only a symbol here. Only a symbol to illustrate we are talking about size. So M by P, which is the size of this matrix, and B, which has P multiplied by N size. So if we multiply these two matrices, A multiplied by B, then we will get AB. Here I put bracket because this one, it will transform into only one matrix. And this matrix has size M by N. From where we get this one is from here. This one number with this number. M, N, here M, N. And you can see here B and here B, which is very important to know if these matrix can multiply or cannot define if these numbers are not equal. Let's illustrate this one more. So for example, if we have matrix 3 by 2 and B here, we have 2 by 5. Since these numbers are equal, then you can compute AB. then you can compute AB. Otherwise, it will be undefined. So these two number represent the size of this matrix. So three by five, three by five.
so the size of this matrix it will be 3 by 5 so this number with this number represent size order or dimension they called it of AB so the size of AB will get 3 by 5 now let's do this example so we will solve this one which is A multiplied by B the first question here a multiply by B which is this matrix with this matrix let's cut it and B here it is before to start to multiply these matrices we have to know if this two matrices satisfy the condition of multiplying matrices so here we have one row three column one row three column and you can see here this represent row and this one represent column and here we have three rows and one column three rows and one column so this equal since here we have three and here we have three then we can find the result of multiplying these two matrices the result it will be the size this number with this number so it will be one by one matrix so one by one matrix so it means only one row here and only one column here so one by one I put here these number only to explain for you this size of this matrix has only one row and one column. Now multiplying these two matrices it will be this row with this column. We have to multiply this row by this column and each entries here we have to multiply together. So 1 multiplied by 4 then 3 multiplied by negative 3 then negative 2 multiplied by this number which is 5 and each one we have to add them together so 1 multiplied by 4 plus 3 multiplied by negative 3 plus negative 2 multiplied by 5 so 1 multiplied by 4 plus 3 multiplied by negative 3 plus negative 2 multiplied by 5 which is 4 multiplied by 1 which is 4 3 multiplied by negative 3 which is negative 9 negative 2 multiplied by 5 which is negative 10 4 minus because here minus 9 with minus 10 it will be negative 19 then it will be the answer negative 15 because 4 minus 19 which is negative 15 so the answer to will be here negative 15 and you can see here it has only one entries and the matrix is one by one matrix this one it's not number it is a matrix because we put this close bracket here so now let's erase this one and these two number this I have finished this answer now we are doing in the second question which is B multiply by a B multiply by a B is this one a is this one this matrix has three row three and only one column this matrix has only one row and three column one row three column as i said before this represent rows and this one represent column 
this equal before to start multiplying we have to satisfy the condition of multiplying matrices since this one is equal to this one then we can multiply these two matrices and the size it will be 3 by 3 so here this matrix is like this 1 2 3 3 rows because here 3 and 3 column 1 2 3 3 by 3 so this row by this column we don't need to do it here because it's very simple 4 multiply by 1 which is 4 first row with the second column 4 multiply by 3 which is 12 this row by this column so 4 multiplied by negative 2 which is negative 8 so we have finished multiplying the first row here with each column then we have finished this row now we will start with the second row then we will fill these entry so second row with the first column so negative 3 multiplied by 1, which is negative 3. Second row with the second column. So negative 3 multiplied by 3, which is negative 9. Second row with the third column. So negative 3 multiplied by negative 2, which is 6. third row with the first column so 5 multiplied by 1 which is 5 third row with the second column which is 5 multiplied by 3 which is 15 third row with the third column which is 5 multiplied by negative 2 which is negative 10 So we have 3 by 3 matrix, which is the result of multiplying these two matrices. Now let's erase these thing because I put it only to explain it for you. Now we will solve the third question. AC. A, which is this one this one C which is this one here this matrix A which has one row with three column this matrix which has three rows with two column since these numbers are equal then we can multiply this matrix with this matrix and the size it will be 1 by 2 so these two numbers represent the size of the result of multiplying two matrices so it will be one row and two column so one row only one row and two column because here 1 by 2 one row and two column i put these numbers only to illustrate it for you more so now we will multiply this row by this column this row by this column and i will straight it here so one multiply by one plus three multiply by two plus negative 2 multiply by 0 negative 2 multiply by 0 now the answer here 1 multiply by 1 which is 1 3 multiply by 2 which is 6 
negative 2 multiplied by 0 which is 0 1 plus 6 plus 0 which is 7 so this one it will be 7 for the second one here we have to multiply this one by this one so 1 multiplied by negative 1 1 multiplied by negative 1 plus 3 multiplied by 3 which is here 3 by 3 plus negative 2 multiplied by 1 negative 2 multiplied by 1 1 multiplied by negative 1 which is negative 1 3 multiplied by 3 which is 9 negative 2 multiplied by 1 which is negative 2 then here minus 1 plus 9 which is 8 minus 2 here 8 minus 2 which is 6 so here the answer it will be 6 so here a c we will get only two elements here let's erase this thing and these numbers now we'll do the fourth question which is here b a c first we will do as this one so b a c equal b then multiply a c so b a c we'll do first b multiply by a c so b a c equal b multiply by a c a c is from here a c which is seven six now i will write b first which is from here so now we are doing in this way you can find it in this way i will do it also later so here this b multiplying by ac which is this one so here it has three rows three multiply by only one column and this one it has one row and two column one row and two column since these numbers are equal then you can compute this multiply by this so the size it will be three two three rows one two three and two column one two three by two three by two now we have to multiply first row with the first column so 4 multiplied by 7 which is 28 now first row with second column we will put it here so 4 multiplied by 6 which is 24 second row with the first column so negative 3 multiplied by 7 which is negative 21 second row multiply by second column so minus 3 multiply by 6 which is negative 18 third row with first column which is 5 multiply by 7 which is 35 third row with second column so 5 multiplied by 6 which is 30 so now we have compute this BAC another way to solve this one another way another solution to find this BAC B A C you can find it as B multiply by A here 
this bracket i put bracket mean i have used the second question which is here ba multiply by c so here we have compute here ba i will copy it equal this BAC from the second question and C here we have to multiply here by C which is this one so here this matrix is 3 by 3 and this matrix is 3 by 2 you can see here it's very big two matrices so it's easier to find BAC from this way not this way here it has a huge calculation to find BAC but we will do it so if I have choice I will choose this way not this way so here we have this number equal to this one then you can compute BAC in this way of course if you multiplying matrices if this one you can find it then in this way you can find it as well because these things are equal here the size it will be 3 by 2 so 3 rows 1 2 3 so 3 rows and 2 column 1 2 Of course, these number we have to erase them because it's only to explain these things for you. Now we have to multiply this row by this column. So 4 multiply by 1. Plus 12 multiply by 2. plus negative 8 multiplied by 0 equal 4 multiplied by 1 which is 4 12 multiplied by 2 which is 24 negative 8 multiplied by 0 which is 0 equal 4 plus 24 plus 0 which is 28 so here it is 28 as you can see the same number here and also these entry it will be also the same now we will multiply this row by this column so 4 multiply by negative 1 plus 12 multiply by 3 plus negative 8 multiplied by 1 which is 4 multiplied by negative 1 which is negative 4 12 multiplied by 3 which is 36 plus 36 negative 8 multiplied by 1 which is negative 8 here we have negative 4 with negative 8 will be negative 12 plus 36 which is 24 so here we have 24 the same as this one let's erase these numbers now we have to multiply the second row with the first column so negative 3 multiplied by 1 plus negative 9 multiplied by 2 plus 6 multiplied by 0 equal negative 3 multiplied by 1 which is negative 3 negative 9 multiplied by 2 which is negative 18 
6 multiplied by 0 which is 0. The answer here it will be negative 3 minus 18 plus 0 it will be negative 21 which is negative 21. Now we have to multiply the second row with the second column. So negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 plus negative 9 multiplied by 3 plus 6 multiplied by 1 equal negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 which is 3 negative 9 multiplied by 3 which is negative 27 6 multiplied by 1 which is 6 here the positive numbers here 3 plus 6 which is 9 minus 27 the answer here it will be negative 18 negative 18. Let's erase these thing. Now we will multiply the third row with the first column. So 5 multiplied by 1 plus 15 multiplied by 2 plus negative 10 multiplied by 0 so here 5 multiplied by 1 which is 5 15 multiplied by 2 which is 30 negative 10 multiplied by 0 which is 0 so the answer it will be here 35 so here 35 now the third row with the second column so 5 multiplied by negative 1 plus 15 multiplied by 3 plus negative 10 multiplied by 1 Now the answer 5 multiply negative 1 which is negative 5, 15 multiply by 3 which is 45, negative 10 multiply by 1 which is minus 10. Here this negative 5 with negative 10 it will be negative 15 plus 45 which is 30. So here we have 30. As you can see here, this matrix has the same result as this one. This way, it's much easier than this way. Now I will erase these things. And this one as well. So now we have finished to solve this question. Either this way or this way will be correct. Here this matrix has the size 3 by 2. That's it. We have illustrate how we multiplying matrices with many example here. Hopefully you find this one beneficial to understand how we multiplying two matrices or three matrices or more as this logic Thank you. See you in the next video.